Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for this video because as you can see from the title today, I'm going to talk about my top 23 favorite K-pop songs of 2023. I think this is the third time in a row that I'm filming this video. I also filmed one for 2022 and 2021 and I always look forward to filming them. I keep track of my favorite K-pop songs from the beginning of the year so I can film this video. So yes, I'm really, really excited to film this one. And at the end of the video, I'm going to very quickly mention my favorite albums and my favorite music videos of the year. Before we get into it, I just want to mention that this is obviously just just for fun, like this is just my top. This top includes some songs that I was obsessed with at one point this year and some songs that I wasn't necessarily obsessed with but in my opinion are really good, you know, in terms of lyrics, vocals, instruments, anything, you know, it's just for fun, you know, who cares? I just want to talk about my favorite K-pop songs. So yes, without further ado, let's get into it. On the last place, on the 23rd place, we have P1 Harmony, I Am You. I'm not a huge fan of P1 Harmony, though I do listen to their music from time to time. And this is a B-side, this is not a title track, but I really, really liked it. And I really like Kyo's voice in this song. So on the 22nd place, we have Wavy's Poppin' Love. I was so happy that Wavy finally had a comeback this year, like... And they did not disappoint, I did like their comeback, but Pop In Love, which is again a B-side, I think this is my favorite song from their album, like I preferred it over their title track and I think it's a really nice song. On the 22nd place, we have Dreamcatchers OOTD. Now, I've been listening to Dreamcatcher for years now, I think they might have been the first girl group that I started listening to. OOTD, I feel like it's definitely different from them, like they don't usually make this type of music, but I think it suits them really really well and it was nice you know to see them experiment a little bit so on the 20th place we have rises talk sexy sexy i don't know but it's such a good song like i don't know that song is a vibe that's all i'm gonna say the chorus is so catchy on the 19th place we have juhani's freedom i love monster x i love juhan and i was just so happy when he had um, a little solo album before he enlisted unfortunately i thought freedom was just the best out of all of them it's a song that describes juhan really really well it just shows all of his skills as an artist which i love on the 18th place we have nctu's coldy now i will say since 2020 every time nct have a comeback like all of them it doesn't really feel like a big thing like it felt like a huge thing in 2020 but ever since then like i listened to the album a couple of times and then i forget about it but it might also be because the company doesn't make a big thing out of it anymore i don't know but Coldy is my favorite song on the album. It's just a vibe, you know, it's Taeyong, it's Ben. It's really good, you know, like, what can I say? On the 17th place, we have a song that has been really popular this whole year that everyone knows. And, you know, I could not not put it in my top because it is a really good song and I also liked it a lot. And that is 5050's Cupid. Honestly, I don't know what to say about it other than it's really good and 5050 had an amazing year. Though, apparently from what I read on Twitter, things are not going too well for them right now. I have no idea, but Cupid is a good song, like generally one of the best songs of the year. So it is in my top two, even though this is literally the only song from 5050 that I know. On the 16th place, we have none other than Mr. Kai, Mr. Kim Jong-in, we have Mr. Rover. <laughs> this band just dropped one of the best songs of the year and then dipped into the military, unfortunately, but Mr. Rover is really good. Honestly, Kai never disappoints, so I'm not, you know, surprised that I have one of his songs in my top. On the 15th place, we have NCT Doja Jung perfume. The song is so nice and vibey. Jayan's part is low-key so good. And I think this unit of Doyoung, Jayan and Jonggu works really really well. Also the choreo I think is really nice. On the 14th place we have a song from TXT and TXT have put out so much music this year but I think you're not expecting the song that I'm going to talk about and that song is actually growing Pain. I was surprised, you know, I was shocked but like in a good way when I heard this song because it is so good. I feel like it's not necessarily their style but 
it fits them really really well i don't know it's a different type of song it's something that i haven't really heard in the k-pop industry which i like if you don't know it i highly recommend listening to it we're getting closer on the 13th place we have woods drowning i'm a huge fan of woods i'm just so sad that he's in the military or he's about to enlist really soon i don't know but like i'm so sad like what am i gonna do without woods for like two years a year and a half i don't know but yes drowning is so good it's a song that really lets his voice and his vocals shine which i love i think he has one of the prettiest voices ever on the 12th place we have jimin's set me free which is really funny because the first time i listened to it i didn't really like it but i listened to it a couple more times and then i loved it and his solo album and honestly i feel like out of all of bts's solo albums i think i like jimin's the best i don't know why because he's not my bias or anything but yeah, I don't know, Jimin really popped off this year with his music. On the 11th place, we have Mark's Golden Hour, which I don't know if it counts, but I think it does. I mean, it's a solve song and it's a song that he probably made for fun, but it doesn't mean it's not good because it is. It's so Mark and it's so unique. Again, something that we don't really hear in K-pop, but that's why I love it. And yeah, it's just nice to see Mark just make music on his own and show his colors. So yes, yeah, just like last year with Child, which I loved. This year, I also really, really liked Golden Hour. So we love Mark and also he's my bias in NCT. So, and now top 10. On the 10th place, we have an hyphen Shakon. Now, it was really hard to choose an Enhypen song because I actually had like three Enhypen songs that I wanted to put in this top and I chose Shakon because again, I feel like it's a bit different. I feel like they experimented a little bit with this song but it worked really well for them. Number nine, we have 80s's Bouncy. It was expected, 80s are my favorite K-pop group after Stray Kids. I love 80s, they've given us so much good music this year. It's crazy like they're spoiling us. And Bouncy is by far my favorite song of theirs this year. I cannot wait to hear it live, but that's a whole another story. Bouncy felt like such a breath of fresh air. I don't know why, because it definitely is 80s style. I mean, I feel like they did experiment a little bit with it, but for the most part, it sounds like 80s, you know? But at the same time, it was like a breath of fresh air. On the 8th place, we have another B-side and that is Les Seraphim's Eve, Psyche and the Bluebeard's Wife. I have no idea what is up with this title, maybe the fans know, but I listen to a little bit of Les Seraphim, so I don't know. But yeah, title aside, because I don't know what's up with that, the song is so good. I sound a bit like a broken record when I say that it is a very different song again, but I'm just realizing that a lot of songs this year or in this top are quite experimental for their artists in my opinion but yeah Eve Psyche and the Bluebeard's Wife is a song that I cannot compare with anything it's really out there and different and I really like it's really addicting that's the thing like the first time I listened to it I was addicted you know I don't know what they put in that song but it's really good and it just makes you want to listen to it over and over again so good for them you know good for them on the seventh place we have a song that i was obsessed with now that we're in top 10 we've reached the songs that i was obsessed with at one point in this year and so on the seventh place we have treasure t5 which is their subunit move this song is so good and if i'm not mistaken john q wrote it which John Q, you genius, please write more. I mean, this is not the first like sexy song or concept that they've done because I just remembered mm, when they were literal infants, but now they're older, you know? So this is not necessarily a sexy song or concept. It's more of a, I mean, it is sexy, but at the same time, it is also elegant, which I like. The whole vibe and instrumental of the song is really, really nice. You know, it seems like Treasure have grown up, which, you know, it's nice to see, obviously, but I just really like the song, you know, like, that's the most important part. Like, I really vibed with the song. So, yes, Jungkook, please write more, I'm begging you. On the sixth place, we have Stray Kids Hall of Fame. It was really hard to choose just one Stray Kids song for this whole list, but I think Hall of Fame is my favorite even though they don't really acknowledge it and they don't perform it and they prefer 
top line as a b-side hall of fame is where it's at and i'm sure everyone can agree i'm sure all states can agree that hall of fame is the best b-side of this year or whatever it's just really good like everything about it like chance vocals the chorus like like i don't i don't even know what to say you know other than hall of fame one of their best songs ever you know so if you don't know it go ahead and listen to it all right and now we've reached top five which obviously means the best songs or my favorite 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 songs of the year and on the fifth place we have Taeyong Ruby I was so happy when Taeyong finally got to shine this year um, as a soloist with his solo album because I have been a huge fan of his solo work ever since he started uploading on SoundCloud in the previous years and I was so sad that they're not on Spotify or I was so sad that there aren't more people who know about his songs and so I was really happy when this year he finally had a solo album where he did remake some songs and it was really weird you know hearing them remade but my favorite song from that album is actually Ruby the chorus is what sells it for me even though the whole song is really good there's just something about the chorus it is so addicting and also his voice goes really really well with the whole song Daeyoung has uh, one of the most unique voices in my opinion I don't know you just have to listen to Ruby and judge for yourself but I generally think this is, might be like his best song his whole mini album or album is really good so i highly recommend going and listening to it on the fourth place we have a group that has absolutely shocked me this year in a good way obviously because they've put out some of the best music this year and those are psychers and the song that i'm talking about in particular is Kung. Genius. I don't know. I don't know what to say. The bridge and the ending of the song are my favorite part, but the whole song is really good. Minja's voice is insane every time he like yells in a song insane but the whole song is really good and i absolutely loved psychers this year like they are my favorite rookies of the year not that i listen to a lot of rookies but i wasn't expecting anything less from 80s's dong sangs but at the same time they were even better than i was expecting like i loved all of their albums all of their music they're rookies of the year for me they are monster rookies whatever you want to call it and kung is my favorite song and also rockstar rockstar is also really good top three i have a, a variety so on the third place which in my heart this song is number one this song is my favorite out of the whole year but i try to be a little bit objective so in that case i put it on the third place and that is Hans Volcano. I also like to include Skiz players and Skiz records and my bias Hanji song didn't fail to deliver this year as well with some really beautiful skis records but my favorite was by far volcano that he released in february it's so beautiful the lyrics are he has a way with words that's all i'm gonna say but the vocals the instrument like this song is an experience from beginning to end his voice is gorgeous i mean obviously he's my bias so honestly i should stop talking like he's not just my bias he's my alt in all of k-pop so it's no surprise that i love everything he put out this year in my heart this song is my absolute favorite if it was on spotify it would have been my top one most played song on spotify rap i'm sure all right number two we have a song that i didn't really like the first time around but the more i listened to it the more i loved it and this song is not my style by any means like it's not my style but it's so addicting it's crazy and it's also in my spotify rap Young featuring jimin vibe i don't know man like it's so good and like it makes me feel good you know listening to this song makes me feel good makes me want to dance i love the way their voices blend because they have very different voices not a fan of Taeyang or big bang but you know i listened to this song to check it out because jimin is in it and it did not disappoint the title is perfect because the song truly is a vibe and number one is going to be very very surprising to the people who know me and it was really surprising to me as well 17's super Sonokong because this song is absolute fire and I'm not a fan of Seventeen I'm not a carrot um, I know like three songs from Seventeen but they're so good so with this logic I should probably listen to more Seventeen but Super absolutely swept me off my feet like the first time I heard it I was like 
they've done it again because last year in 2022 they also gained the first place in my top with hot i think hot is the best song of 2022 i'm not afraid you know to put groups that i don't stand or that i don't listen to that much in my top you know like if the song is good then it's good and now super is my favorite song of 2023 i wouldn't say i mean obviously i was obsessed with it but not as much as other songs but objectively speaking i think it's a really well-made song and this was my top definitely surprising here and there now i do want to mention some honorable mentions really really quickly txt back for more again not my style you know the first time i listened to it i was like what is this but then it grew me and it grew me a lot like it's a feel-good song it's a song that makes me want to dance again then we have from an hypon bite me and sweet venom so these were the other two songs that i was very indecisive about Bite me is really good but it doesn't have a proper ending it ends very abruptly which i don't like and sweet venom it's good but it's not really an hypen style and also I feel like it's a, a more generic song but that doesn't mean it isn't good it is that's why it's in my honorable mentions but I feel like out of those three Shakon deserved a place in my top I also have here card cake so not icky cake but I honestly feel like icky should be an honorable mention as well 2023 was a really good year for card like everyone knows and loves icky and cake and not just for bm's verses but they're really really good and the last honorable mention is a song that's not a k-pop song but i have been absolutely obsessed with this song this year it's crazy and i was so surprised that it wasn't in my top five songs on spotify because i listen to it so much and that is so yoon so Yoon featuring RM Smoke Sprite. So good. I was so shocked. Her voice is so unique, like I've never heard anything else like this. And the song is also really well made and it just sounds so good. Again, it's something that I've never really heard before. So I really, really liked it. And if she were a K-pop artist, this song would definitely have been in my top of okay we're reaching the end of the video soon now i have my favorite albums but these are in no particular order because i cannot be bothered to also put the albums in an order so in no particular order my favorite albums of the year have been txt the name chapter temptation i think it was really good i don't know what to say i mean txt are definitely one of my favorite groups then we have psychers tricky house this being their debut album which is one of the best albums of the year like i swear i don't know what they put in that album i don't know everyone who was involved in making that album like amazing every single song on that album is fire that's why kung is not from this album kung is from their second album of the year which is also good but not as good as their debut album in my opinion their debut album was perfect and so i couldn't choose you know a favorite song then we have stray kids five star i know stray kids put out two albums this year but music wise songs wise five star is so much better than rockstar in my opinion because every single song on five star is fire like every single song and yeah i know i chose hall of fame as my favorite but hall of fame is like only one percent better than the rest of the songs on five star because five star in its entirety is incredible and then i have both of the albums that it is put out this year because i tried my hardest to choose just one but i couldn't because both albums were really really strong the world ep2 outlaw and the world ep found wheel i don't know both of them are really good like the first one has bouncy has songs like outlaw django and then the second one has crazy form but it also has the subunit songs which is the first time 80s have done anything like this all of them all four of them are really really good so i really couldn't choose i really wanted to choose just one 80s album but i couldn't so and the last album that i loved this year was Exdinary heroes live lock live no live lock right i absolutely adore exdinary heroes and every single year exdinary heroes put out some of the best music and this album was so good that i couldn't choose a favorite song maybe my favorite would be again again because it is pop punk and i adore pop punk so yeah but the whole album is really really good and exdinary heroes never fail to deliver 
And last but not least, there are three music videos that I liked a lot. Now, I don't really keep track of my favorite music videos as much as I do with my favorite songs or albums. It's just if I watch a mu music video and I really, really like it or it just stands out to me, then I jot it down right here and that's it. We have Dreamcatcher OOTD again. So this whole song like is really good. Like The song itself is really good. That's why it is in my top. But the music video, I thought they did such a good job with the music video. Like The special effects are crazy crazy but like so good and yeah i don't know if they like changed management or editors or songwriters or whatever but dreamcatcher absolutely slayed this comeback that's all i'm gonna say then we have Taeyong shalala say whatever you want about the song i know some people like it some people don't but the music video is so fun and unique and i really really loved seeing Taeyong experiment with music videos which is something that i wish more artists would do but yeah this music video is a, an experience from beginning to end and it's very Taeyong so I loved it and the last music video that I really really liked this year was Idol's Queen card. I do like the song as well. I mean, the song went literally viral this year. I do like the song, but I like the music video more. I think they did such an amazing job with the music video, with all of the 2000s references and the concept itself, the message. I thought it was really, really nice. So I have to give it up for Idol with Queen card. And that was it. These were my favorite K-pop songs, albums, music videos of 2023. Again, this stuff is just for fun. Like, you know, if you don't agree with my top that is completely fine in fact i do want to know what your favorite k-pop songs or music videos or albums of the year were but yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this video don't worry there is going to be a january vlog as well this video is obviously a bonus because i love making it every year but yeah thank you so much for watching let me know down in the comments your picks or if you agree with my top subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and i will see you next time bye